Hey guys, Alicia Cologne here, paper illustrator and photographer. Whenever I was looking at this, I was thinking, what in the world am I going to use to make this? Like, I, like you can't make this out of paper. Uh, and then when I was like looking into like carving foam, I came across this thing called uh, modeling foam which is a thing that like uh, like cosplay people end up using to embellish uh, you know their armor, their braces or headgear with it fake snakes or something like pretty awesome stuff. So I went and I got it but the good news is Alicia doesn't know how to use it so I have it. So I did some research and it sounded like this black magic one it's air dry moldable cosplay foam clay by the foamery i i have my um my frame for my card so i kind of know like how big and wide everything needs to be i do have it covered in uh like what is this plastic cling so um it doesn't mess up my paper uh, i have some water over here to the side the consistency of this stuff is really interesting like I can't even put my finger on like what it is or what it feels like I'm wondering if I like do the stones first I don't know I almost feel like it would be good to do the stones and then I'm trying to figure out like what's the height that I want everything to be at all right so there we go. So this is going to be a stone. Yeah. So once this dries, apparently you can Dremel this like really good. That's not just so you guys know the exacto is not working. Ideally, we're going to model everything in foam clay today because all of this needs to dry simultaneously, meaning um, uniformly with each other. So if I go and I, and I create everything today, uh, if I go back, if I go back, you know, and try to like get something to fit, it, it actually might not work later on, right? I'm wondering if I could use this. I'm still trying to figure out, this is not for clay sculpting. This is for, um, this is for like embossing paper, like hand embossing. But I'm like, I have it. I might as well use it. Let's see what happens. It creates this really interesting bevel as long as you kind of, as long as you roll roll it along the edge now i'm feeling okay so this is supposed to be here right cuz that that goes there that is supposed to be there so i definitely have some scale stuff off All right, so we have we have our outer shape done, but I think the first thing that we need to probably do is the medallion. All right, so I need this to be kind of like a circle. And then from there, I'm gonna have to like carve this thing out. Oh my goodness. And so what I'm thinking is that we're just going to go ahead and just, we're gonna just carve this thing out and I'm really kind of nervous about that because I don't really know how it's gonna work out. I am sweating, guys, this is so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. There's somebody out there right now like screaming to their, um, that screaming to their monitor. No, that's not how you do it. You got to do it this way. And I wish I could hear you right now because I just messed this up. Okay. So either I can let this dry and I can try to chisel it out afterwards. 
or we do like a cookie cutter kind of thing. Right, so this will be the one that just kind of like chills out. With that, with that done, we'll have to definitely add some of that detail. We're gonna have to cut that out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the petals that go underneath it. All right, and I, I would like it to be a little bit more pointed. And again, I'm gonna dremel this once it's dry in order to kind of create like those beveled edges. I think that's gonna look really good. All right, so this is drying a little bit on me, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on it. Now we get into the mushroom. So how in the world am I going to, is this a way to do it? <laughs> this, there you go. I think it's a little bit too thin though. All right, and that is wonky. So still using it to roll it out. Really need it to be a lot thicker. I have this dowel rod. All right, so I think this is gonna be, this is better. The thing that I've just learned is that you gotta be more stubborn than your obstacles. I know I say that every time, but like, look, okay. So the best thing that worked was this because I think it's polished, it's coated, it's a paintbrush. Thin, and it's gonna be hidden by this big guy but it's gonna go here and it's gonna go up and then it's gonna, so this right here can pretty much be, I think, cut off because we're gonna end up adding, bink! We're gonna end up adding the trumpet flower. All right, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's definitely, it's being really silly on the, all right, cool. So there we go. That definitely worked out the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch down the bottom because I'm def I'm going to need to recreate. I need to add this, but I want to flip some of this stuff out. We have these ridges we need to add. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get my thing wet. Now, again, I've never, again, I've never used this. So all these details I'm adding, I have literally no idea if it's gonna retain. Um, I have no idea. All right, come on, you can do it. Let's go ahead and do a mushroom. All right. So it has a good point on it. At this point, I need a I need a bigger paintbrush. I didn't realize paintbrushes would be so useful. And so I like so I'm doing this guy that goes here. And he has a bit of a curve to him. So as this is drying, it's becoming one piece, which I don't mind, but this cannot become one piece because this is a completely different texture. So, but this, however, it's going to be airbrushed and dry, dry painted. I think I'm going to be, it's going to be really interesting to see really how this goes. So this is like all the skills of making like Play-Doh pizza and Play-Doh noodles, you know, all those things that you make when you're a kid with Play-Doh. All of those skills are coming out right now. All right. So if you guys are wondering what that looks like from a side angle, there you go. So we're getting 
those little forward growths. And I need to, I need to create like these like edges where there's just organic edges. All right, so now we can go ahead and start working on the, this mushroom stalk. If this has to hold the inner weight of this, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, so I just kind of put my, my stalk in there. I mean, it seems to be holding it pretty well. Color me impressed. By the end of this, I will be a air foam modeling clay mushroom making master, which is, is that hireable? <laughs> this stalk is too thick. Yeah, once you mold it, it wants to stay, which is kind of nice. All right, and so this is, this will go here. So that's the, that's the bigger one. That's pretty dope. All right, so we have the small one. Oh, that guy, uh, did you glue? Did you, did you, I, I didn't really want that to happen. Okay. All right, and so now I have the one on the bottom that I need to do, and I still need to do the background. So we're going to do that. All right. I like this so much better because if you guys use polymer clay, you know, you have to score things in order to stick them together. These you quite literally just like stick it together and it's like, okay, we are friends for life. I can turn this off. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to do the background. I need to turn off the flashlight. Hello. Hello, flashlight. All right. So, you guys ready? I'm scared, but this is this is what we're doing. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, not mess things up, please. All right, the paintbrush is definitely looking better. Don't rest your arm on an, an exacto. but I'm trying to create like somewhat of a of a firm recess to at least I mean if it looks horrible maybe if it's interesting it won't look that bad it's gonna go on top of that right there so it's not that's not gonna be that bad but that that's where we're at I mean guys this looks pretty stinking cool I'm so oh, let me move over. Oh, there's Robert. If you guys were wondering who, what that voice was, that's you. Um, okay, so what I need to do is that I need to finish up some of those mushroom stuff uh, on the corner. And then from there, we will move into dremeling. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. You guys could have been anywhere else, but decided to be with me uh, making things out of foam clay, which is awesome. So again, if you guys are wondering like what foam clay it is, it's uh, ooh, you guys are over here. It's black magic. Air dry, moldable, cos 
cosplay foam crawl. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, which again is right, no, it's right over there, at Alicia Cologne. I would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, until next time, really, that's it, guys. <laughs>